If you're like most parents, you can confidently say, I would die for my kids. And that's great. But would you live for them? Parents die for their kids every day. It usually doesn't look like jumping in front of a bullet or stopping a speeding train. It's a death by a thousand cuts. When we say yes, but mean no, when we ignore toxic behavior, when we neglect our own needs, when we act one way in public, but the opposite behind closed doors, kids model what they see, not what they hear. If you're living a life littered by dead dreams, you better believe your kids are receiving that message loud and clear. When you say, you can be anyone you wanna be, do anything you wanna do, but then they observe how you live your life, they realize what you really mean is, following your dreams is scary. Best to live a life that's safe and passionless. When you avoid having hard conversations, they think, being a people pleaser and walking on eggshells is normal. Or when you make sweeping declarations like, divorce is never the answer. What they hear is, you're not worthy of unconditional love. Your feelings don't matter. The opinions of others is the only thing that matters. Your parents, who for a lot of you loved you sacrificed for you, provided for you, and with every bit of knowledge they had at that time, wholeheartedly believed they were doing right by you. What I now know is a child doesn't need a parent whose main focus is teaching right, wrong, good, bad. A child needs a parent who models truth because each child's sole true purpose and their path to it is different. And just like your parents created another generation of similar beliefs by portraying how they lived their life to you, you're doing the same thing, all in the name of good parenting. And something tells me, if these words are creating a stirring within you, maybe your soul's true purpose is to be one of the brave ones who stands up and finally breaks these damaging generational cycles once and for all. So instead of changing what you say, focus on how you do you. The life you are living right here, right now, today. Do you want that life for your kids? Your fears and anxieties, you want those for your kids? Your lack of connection and emotional intimacy, you want those for your kids? The pressure to keep buying bigger and better, you want that for your kids? Your overcommitted schedule that leaves you exhausted, you want that for your kids? There's this quote, we accept the life we think we deserve. Well, guess what? Our kids accept the life we act like we deserve. Stop using your kids as an excuse to not embrace the fullness of your life. At best, that's fear, that's distraction. At worst, it's martyrdom and manipulation. Your children are not your excuse to avoid living the life you desire. They're the reason to begin living the life you desire. The life that scares you a little. The life you yearn for. The life that when you close your eyes and quiet your mind, gives you that natural high. That feeling that only comes from living your soul's truth. That's the life you want for your kids. You die once. You live every second of every minute of every hour of every day. Your kids don't need you to die for them. They need you to live.